Hi everyone and welcome back to a writing guy. When we Google and look up the vintage fountain pens, we usually a very similar seal with a lever filler and materials that only found in the good old days like celluloid and ebonite. But what if a brand would like to renew its image with a new design? However, providing the customer with the feel and touch of vintage materials. So today we're going to take a look at one of them with the Estabrook new Model J in Antique Rose. If you like the content, please like the video and subscribe. And if you are looking to buy your next fountain pen, notebooks and inks, please check out our writing guy shop on Instagram. When we find vintage Estabrook J pictures on Instagram or on Google and on eBay, we usually see and feel the allure of a vintage, affordable lever filler fountain pens with a library of replaceable nib units with lots of funky colors that appeal to a lot of new vintage collector. But with this new Model J, they are growing out of their former affordable fountain pen brand position and moving it up to the big league, I would say, with a roughly 300 US dollars spent for the modern version. What do we get? An ebony fountain pen with a modern cartridge converter filling system with various German-made nibs to choose from. I like that they are not completely throwing away their roots and still called back to the vintage designs with the simple domed calf finial and clip plus the etching on the barrel with R. Estabrook USA that often comes with vintage ones and also the styling of the section also reminisce of the previous generations of lever filler constructions of fountain pens with a flared out nib color a short section for your fingers to rest on and the threads that goes right after the main selling point of the Model J would definitely be the Ebonite Ebonite is a pretty old material in the fountain pen industry and essentially it is a type of hardened rubber and then turned into the shape of the pen. Because of its pliability, it was really popular and also famous in the collector's world due to its signature matte texture and its patina or aging characteristics. Unlike celluloid where it gets pale and loses color over time, Ebonite's brighter color loses its saturation with time while the black areas stay relatively consistent over time creating its signature color that you would usually see on vintage pens in the 20s and 30s the new model j is certainly a handsome pen for any collection if you are getting into vintage materials but without the hassle of maintaining a vintage pen but still i would personally adjust a few details to make the pen a bit more in line with its aesthetic choices the cap and barrel are mirror finish while the section is still retains a bit of that matte ebonite so we might as well make the whole pen map to better showcase its distinctive texture. The barrel bands are really reflective and do create a visual cue of where the user should hold the pen, but it does catch fingerprints and scratch it easily. So one thing to keep in mind if you have sweaty palms like me and to wipe the pen constantly to ensure it looks good and new. The pen comes with a Yovo number no. 6 nib that writes flawlessly right out of the box. It does not bring a lot of character into the writing, but if you're just looking for a consistent writer without any amount of flex or bounces, you know what you're getting with Yovo number no. 6. Overall, the Model J might not be your first pick if you are one of those vintage purists who only appreciate writing instruments from the good old days but it does its job as it welcomes newcomers to the beauty of the material that not many pen makers are willing to tackle. Accompanied with a solid Yovo number no. 6 nib, the Model J is going to be a consistent writer for your daily writing needs. Overall, this is one handsome pen and I would gladly keep it in my personal collection to have something that's made from Ebonite. And I would like to hear from you as well. Do you have a Model J, the vintage or even the modern one in your collection and how do you compare them so far and how is your experience with this particular fountain pen and the Yovo number no. 6 or number no. 8 nibs let me know in the comment section below thank you guys for watching and for more fountain pen